for many years I have had several violins and I really enjoy playing around them, playing with different violins, the same piece with different violins, giving some a rest and using other ones and so on and so forth. From January to March I greatly increased the number, pretty much doubled it by buying in some new ones, well, new, new to me. And in the Spielbuch videos, which I made, 10 videos, I used all of these violins, the older ones, the ones I've had longer, and the ones that are recent. The recent ones have all been set up by Caroline Campbell, a friend of mine who is a very expert uh, violin maker, Luthier, and uh, what the work she's done on them has, has brought them to life again, and I'm very grateful for that. I now have six French violins, one Italian violin, one Italian viola, one violin for what used to be called Bohemia, but is now in the Czech Republic, one Scot four Scottish violins, four German violins, one Polish violin, and one English viola. So there's quite a collection, as I said. And uh, I um, played the Spielbuch tunes on all of these violins, and well, both of the viols I have actually, no, only one, only one feature, I think, um, the English one, and um, uh, except for the Polish violin, which came in too recently, it's becoming very complicated. Anyway, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to play tunes on these instruments. But I'll start with a violin made by Caroline Campbell herself. And this beautiful walnut brown uh, violin, very interesting colour, rather unusual, plays like a dream, as you will hear, because I'm going to play a cheerful march by Telemann just to get us started. And here it is. Decorated with flowers, painted on, is surprisingly good as a playing instrument, very good. Often instruments which have been um, adorned in that sort of way don't turn out to be very nice to play, but this one really is. So I'm going to play A Song Without Words by Mendelssohn, which is one of my very favourite pieces in this book, and here we go.
absolutely love that high romantic piano introduction. Just four bars and then it comes at the end. But my goodness, it's worth listening to. Right, we'll go on in just a moment. Now, just a moment gave me time to change the CD, find a different instrument, tune it, and find a different book with a different tune in it. All of that happened in, in the twinkling of an eye, as you might just say. Anyway, I'm going on to uh, Klassische Stücke, which is a companion book to Spielbuch. And that's because the first instrument I bought was this one, which is not a violin, it's a viola. The seller thought it was a violin, and that wasn't done in good faith, she just didn't realise. And we had a bit of a correspondence when she found that out. Um, uh, she was very willing to, to keep the viola, in fact, refund me the money. I didn't want her to do that, and I'm very glad I didn't. It's an excellent viola. It uh, was played for many years by a Scots Guardsman in the Scots Guards Orchestra, uh, which played, I suppose, at social functions and things like that. It's been played all over the world, I am told. And today it's going to play a very nice aria by Pietro Locatelli, and here it is. <coughs> similar. They're dark. They both have lion head skulls. This is, I think, slightly the better of them. And inside it has a uh, handwritten repariert 1866, repaired in 1866. So it may actually be slightly, I don't know, but it may be slightly older than the music it's about to play, or much, much the same uh, time. Uh, I'm going to play two waltzes by Brahms. I've never played them this viola before, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like. The first is very famous. The second is beautiful, though a bit less well known. Here we go. <coughs>
Uh, apologies for two very out of tune notes. Uh, uh, the second time round, the worst of them was actually all right. Oh well, there you are. Onwards and upwards. This is the last of the instruments. This is a French violin, a copy of a violin by Nicolas Lupo. Lovely violin. Remember, you can see them all if you look at my violins exclamation mark on YouTube. But this is the last one I'm going to play, and I'm going to play two pieces. The third of Dry Amoretti, which are by, let me remind myself, oh yes, Robert Fuchs, and then a piece by um, Alec Ole called Skirts, so they're both quite recent. Well, not all that recent. And here we go anyway. then I, I've enjoyed playing around with Spielbuch, I've enjoyed playing these violins and uh, I hope that um, it's been of some interest to anyone who happens to be watching. Bye bye. <laughs>